Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm gonna be bringing you a new mantle design, but I'm gonna be using some of the old pieces that I have had around the house for a long time. A couple of new pieces, but some old and then some sentimental pieces too. So before I get started talking to you here in front of the camera, because I will come back here, I have a tiny little haul that I wanna share with you and uh, I'm gonna check for questions. So, but let me morph over and I'm going to do a decorate with me on the mantle and then we're gonna reveal uh, the hearth and the credenza and the cozy corner. So, without further ado, let's morph on over to me starting to decorate our mantle. I'll be right back in just a minute, or a few. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody, morphing in here with some footage. Hello, I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> Chris is uh, videoing for us today. And so, let me start out by saying I did not want to take down the lights because the two lights on the ends. Just to tell you, I bought these two lights from Amazon and they just came the other day. I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do this video today because the lights didn't come and didn't come because of all the snow. They finally came and we ended up putting 13 watt bulbs in them. Uh, and we're in the process of looking for a bulb that's a little taller, like a long uh, cylinder, cylindrical kind of bulb so that the light will, you know, kind of illuminate the entire lamp. And this does okay. These are just little short little bulbs, you know, and they do okay, but we're looking for something else. So that might change a little bit. I am in love with these little lamps. These little lamps are doing exactly what I wanted them to do, you guys. They're adding a little bit of bling and a little bit of gold and a little bit of something something into this decor that I just wanted something different. I just wanted to make it look a little bit different. And you will see by the things I'm gonna be using here that I'm using everything else except for four little birds are things that I've had in my decor in other places in the house. So if Chris will pan up for us first, I wanted to show that we uh, put the wreath back up, he, I didn't, he put the wreath back up on the mirror and I made that wreath and if I can find a uh, link, I'll put it in the description box and of my tutorial because I did that on camera. I'm leaving the two angels up there on the, on the shelves. Chris built those shelves last, not this past fall, but the fall before. And I've had angels up there of some sort or another each time and bunnies at Easter. He made me bunnies out of wood last year. So I'm gonna leave those angels in place because I like their gold wings. And I am gonna go ahead and, uh, if you could come in here a little bit, tell you about how everything is uh, kind of rigged up here. We have an outlet behind there here. As you can see, we're not using it because for whatever reason, this outlet will not pair with A-L-E-X-A. -E I don't even wanna say her name. <laughs> so Chris had to come up with something new. So he, he, as you can see, has used white extension cords and, and snug them behind the command strips. So once you I get everything up here, you're not gonna be able to see the extension cord. He's got it taped over here, honey, if you show. Taped to the, or I mean, he's got, it, command strips on the side of the mantle too and fireplace so that the white cord, you know, kind of blends in as it goes down the side of the fireplace. Because I'm going to be using, what I'm going to be using up here, which you'll see in a minute, we needed to cover up this outlet. So Chris made this little cover out of like plywood and painted it the same color, perfect grayish as the wall. And so we just set that up there and it really does camouflage the outlet. So, because I have a thing about seeing outlets and I really have a thing about seeing wires, but there's nothing else we can do. And I think the wires will disappear when all is said and done. Also, we have strip LED strip lights up here, which make a huge difference. 
with the lighting it up lights everything which I really 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 have been enjoying and uh, to tell you how we hold this garland up let me tell you about the garland first the garland is two 55 inch mixed berry garlands blue and white that I got from the pipberrybarn.com mixed with a greenery and like little blueberry garland. Lisa Sigardia actually gave me this and I've got it wrapped in with the pip berries. And then I've got the whole garland wrapped in white, brown corded white lights, which I can't even pull one out here. Here we go. All of these things are linked in my Amazon shop, except for this, except for the two garlands. And I'll give you a link for the pip berry barn. And unfortunately, this blue and green garland is no longer available. We used to be able to find it at Michael's and cannot anymore. Okay, now if we move over here, uh, I'm going to tell you how uh, we have the garland held up. Again, we're using command strip hooks right here in the back. And on either corner, Chris uses his secret weapon is metal coat hangers. <laughs> he uses them for a lot of things. And he's got it bent like an inverted V there, the long, one long side going off of that side with a hook on it, and the other long uh, kind of arm, if you will, coming off this side with a hook on the end, as you can see. And uh, so we have it hooked there and hooked around the side, and then we did the same kind of idea here with the command strip hook and then a coat hanger with a hook on this end that he that Chris bent you know up into a hook so we have that's how we have the garland held on so those are the brass tacks of how we do our mantle decor you guys and as I said these lamps were something that I was really I don't know I just had an epiphany one day and said I really want to put lamps up here but I don't want them to be huge and large and in charge I want them to be as subtle accent something that is going to blend in and look like they were meant to be and i think when you when i get all of this put up here all of the rest of the accent pieces put up here you'll see what i'm talking about so let's start with what's going to go center stage and that is this floating frame that stacy made for me stacy's my first cousin she has a video uh, where she shows how to make this and you can uh, write her an email and she will make you a cling like this or a, a decal like this. And you can do one of these for yourself if you'd like. So as you can see, it is a floating frame. The frame, I have the frame link too on my Amazon shop. And I'm just going to set this right in the center. And this is going to take center stage right here. Pushing it back pretty far and centering it. Okay, so there we go with five items strategically placed. I am a very symmetrical decorator. I'm just warning you, <laughs> that's the way I decorate. It's always been the way I decorate. If I don't decorate that way, it drives my eyes crazy. So with that in mind, we're going to, next thing we're gonna place up here are these plates that I've had up here before that you guys have seen. They are from England, made in England. They're Staffordshire, uh, the Colonial Series, I believe. I don't have my glasses on. Liberty Blue Historic Colonial Scenes, printed on Staffordshire Ironstone detergent and something else safe. Dishwasher safe. Oh, my goodness. Made in England. Independence Hall. So this is of Indep... Might help to turn it right side up. Independence Hall. So, did I have it crooked? <laughs> this is of Independence Hall. All right, so we're going to put one plate on one side of center. And I'm going to move it this way for just a, a little bit, and you'll see why in a minute. And then I have a matching plate for the other side of center. Okay, next uh, I'm going to use a couple of candlesticks 
that Chris's mom gave us years and years ago. And these were made in a brass foundry in Ranson, West Virginia. These are, she gave us these in 19, or at least they're dated 1992. So these are very special to us. So I wanted to use them up here, trying to incorporate a little bit of brass in with my blue and white for every little vignette I do mostly. So hopefully I'll be successful. I just wanna set them right there. Uh, the candles came from Amazon, I believe. I believe I have them linked in my Amazon shop. So this is fixing. I was turning the candle because the candle looks a little rough. <laughs> okay, next on this side, I'm going to use a very tall bottle that I got at a secondhand store here called Two Times New in Fredericksburg. So I'm gonna set that over here. And for those of you who've been with me, you have seen this bottle before. It's usually over on the IV table shelf. And y'all are gonna recognize my decanter that my grandmother passed down to me. This is Fostoria Crystal. And we just put some colored water in it, which I know is an old fashioned -y kind of thing to do, but I'm no young chicken. So there we go. And it will go right here. And then as we move to this side, I didn't have another blue bottle, but I had one almost the same size. I actually have two of these, this, this height and one smaller. I'm only gonna be using this. And you know what, I'm trying to think if I got this at, I think I did get this at two times new as well. So it's just a blue and white bottle, nothing special, but special to me because it really matches my blue and white decor. Now this next thing is super special to me and this is a vase that Chris and I picked up in Vienna, Austria, long, 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 long time ago. It is beautiful. It is crystal. It is lovely. And it is cobalt blue. So I'm going to put that right there. Isn't that pretty? So there we go. Now I have four more little things to put up. I got these little birds, little brass birds from Amazon. The last one came last night, or last set of them. I got two sets. So I'm gonna put the larger ones, kind of one here and one over here. And I'm gonna put the two little ones right here. This was Chris's idea to put them here and I think it's a perfect idea. So there we go, there is our new mantle design. I love it, you guys. It, uh, as you see, I used gold candles and the white candlesticks. Those candlesticks, by the way, are from Kirkland's. Used white, or I mean gold candles for them to try to bring the gold up a little bit. I love the lamps on the sides. Again, uh, they are from Amazon. And uh, I added a little bit of the old with a little bit of new and a little bit of sentimental and pulled it all together to make an Arlen kind of eclectic design, huh? Utilizing, like I said, the old, the sentimental, and the new. I love it. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and reveal the hearth area to you and a tray design here on the credenza. And then we're gonna go over to the kitchen table and I'm going to uh, do a little haul for you guys and see if I have any questions. Okay, right. you guys, Chris said, why don't I just go ahead and take a video of the hearth while we're here. And uh, just to explain this, this, there's really nothing new here at, on the hearth, except for the one candle holder there in front of the two ginger jars that I made, or that I painted last week that y'all saw me chalk paint. Uh, and you'll see it's partner over on the credenza. So all I did was add back in my two black candlesticks there on the left and uh, just added a couple of blue candles. I already had the, 
the candle rings made. I made them out of a garland, a greenery garland. The pitberry tree there in the back, Stacy gave me. The pitberry tree in the back, Stacy gave me years ago. She got it from the Christmas tree, tree shops or and that, but she did get that for me. It's three feet tall. The forever thankful, always grateful, abundantly blessed plaque came from Hobby Lobby, I believe. I believe a couple years ago though and then the ginger jars came from home goods i believe and then again another white candlestick to match the ones on the mantle that one came from those came from kirkland's all three of them and i decided to put a bird in a nest of pit berries there on top of that to kind of to try to pull in the pit berries from the ladder that's on the left and then as chris pans across uh, I have a ladder stuck down into a crock here on the right, trying to incorporate the pit berries. The be still and know that I am God came from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I made that little, uh, that little flower arrangement there that's sitting on the corner. I don't remember where I got that. I think Walmart, I think is where I got that like little black wrought iron crane there. You can see I have a scrolly piece kind of up against the wall in the back, kind of trying to camouflage some of the wires back there. One of you subbies made me that beautiful heart that's in the little wreath on the wreath stand. The wreath stand came from Walmart last year after Christmas. And then the little white lantern that's down on the gold stand that Chris just painted gold for me at Christmas time. That used to be black wrought iron, but he painted it gold. This bird over here on the subwoofer. Uh, matches the bird over on the candlestick and they came from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And of course I made the bow and the ribbon came from Bobby over there, perpetualribbons.com. So there is the hearth and the mantle and the mirror and everything together. I think it's looking really pretty. Again, I didn't do much new on the hearth. I did, you know, add the candle holder down there and I added a new little lantern and, you know, added a couple of birds that weren't there last year. And I'm very happy with how it worked out. You know what I forgot to do? I need to incorporate, I have the rest of my stars. I forgot, I have uh, Let's see. Okay, there we go. I just added some stars in. They may change their location, but for now I just added them in there. <laughs> all right, now since Chris is holding the camera, we'll just we'll just do all the way across, honey. This is a tray that I that Chris did not make me. I don't know where I got the tray though. At home, do you remember? I don't remember where I got the tray. I do have a placemat inside the tray. And there you see the candlesticks partner there. I decided to use, separate them and use them in different places. Uh, and I used that beautiful blue vase that Amanda Thrasher sent to me. I just love that pitcher vase is what it is. And the cobalt blue is so pretty. And I just put a bird in there I got from Cracker Barrel that lights up. You know, a little candlestick from the Miniman Mini Mall. And uh, you've all seen all of this stuff before, except for the, you know, the candle holder. So pictures of our daughters, Kristen, the teacher on the left, Candace on the right, and she is Maverick's mom and lives with her sweetie Dustin and uh, raising Maverick to be just the most special little boy in the whole wide world, honestly. And then of course that's Chris, the man behind the camera and the hand, as a lot of you call him there in, on the right. Notice he's pulling away <laughs> so you can't see him. And me here on the left in the frame with Maverick. 
So, and then we're going to go ahead and go over to the cozy corner because I honest to goodness, you guys did not do anything new to that this year. I just replaced everything uh, that was up before fall. I simply have a spray that I made to go around the corner of the having a place to go is home, having someone to love his family, and having both is a blessing. Chalkboard plaque, I did not write that. That came like that from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I have a tobacco basket kind of turned cattywamp and a, uh, a uh, grapevine wreath wrapped in cream pit berries around that with another little one of those colonial plates in the middle. Funky bow on the corner with hearts, uh, just metal hearts hung down. I'm trying to think where I got the hearts, can't remember right now. With Boyd's Bears down below, a Boyd's Bear little family. Uh, Chris's cousin and my best friend Donna gave those to us. And the mama and baby bear are sitting in my old rocking chair that I used to rock in when I was a little girl. So, and of course, just a throw and a couple of napkins and placemats there on it. So. When all is said and done, this end of the room is done. And I'm super happy with how it worked out, you guys. Very, very happy. And with all that said, I'll go back to the table now at the kitchen table and we'll be right back in just a minute. And I'll chat with you in person. Not that I'm not in person, but in front of the camera. <laughs> Be right back. Okie dokie dokie, I'm back here now. What did you guys think? Oh, I am so happy with how it worked out. I really am. It's subtle. It's uh, it's not over the top. Uh, I, I didn't fill every space uh, like I'm wanting to do sometimes. I, I really, really, really am thrilled. You'll notice I did not put bows on the... Uh, garland i wanted the garland to it is so pretty the way it worked out it was so pretty i didn't want to cover any of it up with bows so i just left it without bows which will give me the opportunity to add bows say at easter or for spring or for the patriotic or and on and on we go through the year you know so for now for our for the winter months i'm very 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 happy with that i have a feeling those lamps are going to become staple pieces that will remain on that mantle for a long time. I did want to tell you one thing about those lamps and the cords on the lamps. If you go to purchase those lamps from Amazon, they are going to come with a black cord on them, also with a big switch on them. If that doesn't bother you, then go right ahead. I encourage you to buy them. They're beautiful in person. But if you're going to put that lamp somewhere where you don't want your cord to show or if it's going to be up against a white surface like mine was, you might want to rethink it. Or if you or your your partner, husband, whomever can switch the uh, cords out for you, which is what Chris did for me, then by all means, you know, go and get, and get them. I did want to warn you about that, though. I did not want to show them like I showed them and then not tell you about the color cord they came with. They did come with a, a brown or black cord. So just to tell you that. Uh, but I'm super happy. I love when I can use uh, sentimental things like the, the floating frame that Stacy made for me. Great is thy faithfulness. I love that. I love the plates that I've been using, the colonial plates, which, you know, pretty much the my grandmother's sugar bowl and cream or what this entire design is is based on. And those plates pair beautifully with that sugar bowl and cream, or, you know, that usually goes in my, in the kitchen, because that's where sugar and bowl and creamers are meant to go, right? <laughs> 
and uh, the candlesticks and, uh, you know, the, the decanter from my grandmother, you know, with, with blue water, which is an old fashioned way to kind of de decorate, but I love it. Why can't we bring it, bring it to the forefront again? You know, why can't we do that? So all in all, I'm super duper duper happy with how the mantle worked out. It makes me happy to have it done. It makes me happy to have that end of the room done. And as you saw, I did not do a ton different to the, the hearth or the credenza and absolutely nothing different to the cozy corner. But I did add, you know, those two candle holders and, you know, move things around a little bit and do it a little differently. So super happy with that end of the room. <laughs> uh, coming up this week, uh, let me tell you before I get into, I just have a tiny little haul here. Before, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing for the rest of the week. I know I will probably do, I may do my dough bowl and reveal my hutch here, as you can see the bottom shelf of it here. Reveal the hutch, reveal the top of the desk and the corner shelf. I think I'm gonna make a bow on Wednesday. I'm gonna make a uh, either a tiered bow or a round bow. I'm not sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on this wreath, which, uh, which gets hung on a wreath holder. I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe, and it came with a bow on it. I didn't like it, so I took that off and I make my own bows to put on it. So I'm gonna make a bow out of that same ribbon that I used over there, uh, pulling it through a bow for, cause I don't have any bows over here. So I do wanna use that. I also reveal the staircase. We redid that, it's nothing different there. So, uh, so maybe that will be Wednesday's video. And then Friday, I'll probably do the kitchen uh, reveal and the tray design in the kitchen, which will be the blue and white tray design, not my Valentine's yet. I won't do my Valentine's until we get into February a little bit. So just because I want to do the blue and white and have everything blue and white for a little while. So, uh, and that'll probably be it for this week. So I'm not sure, uh, you know, and who knows what else will come up y'all, you know, you, who knows what else will come up. So let me, uh, this is, simply an Amazon haul. That is all this is. And uh, y'all know I did a video on our Hawaiian cruise coming up. And um, I just wanted to show you I had ordered two more of these straps. These are suitcase straps that, and look, they match my nails. I did redo my nails. And no, I didn't do them on camera, you guys. I'm sorry. I need to do that sometime here uh, to do a Color Street uh, tutorial. I know a couple of you have asked me about that. I did put this up. I, uh, what is this called? Snow? Oh, I can't. I'll type it up there what it is. <laughs> and everything else too, I will just type up how much, you know, look in the corner there and I will tell you how much everything costs. The lamps and the, the little gold birds and everything I'm showing you here, I'll type up how much they cost. And you can go in my Amazon shop and find everything easily found in my Amazon shop. So, but this is a strap used to put around your suitcase. Uh, it also serves to hold your suitcase shut just in case it would come open, you know, in flight or something. But also this gives you a good way to recognize your suitcase when it's coming out the rounder for your luggage that you check, you know, and uh, Christmas luggage is black. And we're like, oh, and my luggage is purple. And you would be surprised at how much purple luggage there is out there. There's a lot of purple luggage. So as you saw, I got myself a, like a florally strap and I got uh, three of these now to put on uh, whatever else. So they came in a set of two and then need one more. But anyway, regardless. Uh, so I got those. And uh, in that same vein, I got myself, and this was Barbara's idea, uh, was to, I had one of the, here it is, get, um, like little clips. These are actually, you can use them to hold your glasses all around your neck. Um, uh, but they're called, uh, mask leashes is what they're called. And I, uh, went on Amazon and found all kinds of different kinds. And it looks like it came with extra little hooks and everything too. Look at that. But I wanted to show you some of these, and these are super pretty. I got little pearls. Because we have to wear masks on the ship everywhere we go. If we get off in Hawaii and we go into restaurants, you have to wear masks into restaurants and into stores and everywhere you go. So through the airports and everything. So Barbara, this is at Barbara's suggestion. So I got, you know, this is one whole set. I got one, two, three, four, five. 
six. Six different uh, little mask Leaches. leashes. But look, I got, that's gold. I don't know whether I'll use that because I don't wear a lot of gold. But isn't that pretty? Little hearts, little pearl hearts. And it comes in different colors. This is silver, I think. Silver, it looks like with some red beads in it. And this is pink, like a pink hue. And then the blue. Aren't they pretty? I'll tell you. So, and then I also got, so that was the one whole set for like, it wasn't much, like $9, something like that. And then I got one more. And this, just this one was like $8.99, something like that. I'll type it up there. I may be remembering wrong. But this is just, you know, let me see. This one I can get open. I have a mask here. And the way I saw to, to attach these was just to take the little hook. This had a, a little piece where I put it. That would slide on the edge of a glass, you know, a glass temple. Well, I don't need that. So you just take the little hook and you hook it onto the bottom part of your mask elastic, you know. And let me get this side. And then you put the beads or the leash around your neck and then you put your mask on plus you have a little bling there isn't that cute little bling hanging there from your from your mask and then when you get to uh rest in and so where you can eat or where you can take your mask off you just take it off and drop it down and you're fine you're not going to lose your mask so i think this is an ingenious little thing especially since we have to wear them so much you know Cute, huh? Very cute. Love that. I think I'm gonna really like the pearls. I really like the pearls. I think they're pretty. Woo! Love it. Alrighty, you guys. They all have little lobster. I wanted to make sure. They all have little lobster claw. Here, I can get the pearl ones open. You can see they all have, they all think you're gonna wear them on glasses. You just take that off and they're all little lobster claw hooks. See that? Cute as a button, huh? Love these. All right. Thank you, Barbara, for that idea. It's a good one. And we're going to be able to keep a hold of our masks for sure. <laughs> so, yay. All right. Then I only have two more items, one of which is two things to show you. I got me a set of gold candlesticks these are nothing special these are not super expensive but i got a little pair of gold candlesticks of all things i don't have a pair of gold candlesticks i mean like to hold a, a pillar candle you know so i got these super cute not heavy i don't think these will tarnish i mean they weren't expensive but they give us the gold tone you know so i like that and then i was really excited to see this and I can't wait to use her when I go to do my Valentine tray there in the kitchen for February. Look at my little Jim Shore angel. Is she not beautiful? Look at her wings. Look at the uh, the heart or, or the butterfly. What is that? The butterfly. It's a butterfly garland. It looks like a butterfly garland that she's holding in her hands. They stem from one hand to the other. Look at the detail on her dress. Oh, I just think she is beautiful. Look at her. And won't she be beautiful sitting in that tray up there? She will be just stunning. The tray is this cream color. You know, and I got that runner. Remember the runner? The red and the pink runner? So pretty. So pretty. I think she's going to be beautiful. So I cannot wait to use her. She is called uh, Hope Takes Wing. And it looks like, I don't know whether she was a breast cancer survivor, benefiting the Rose Center for Breast Health Excel, I think. So there we go. I'm supporting breast health too, which is a good thing. <laughs> so 
So there we go. All right, you guys. That's it. That's all I have to haul. And so I don't know how long I've gone. Probably a long time. So maybe I'll wait for Wednesday for my questions. How about that? I think that would be probably the best thing because I feel like I'm I'm going long and I don't want to go too, too long here. Plus, it'll give us content for Wednesday, right? So if you, I know I have a couple of cruising questions, one specific one about how I pack my shoes. I don't remember who asked me that, but I will say very quickly or, or how I handle how many pairs of shoes. I'm not sure I will revisit this on Wednesday, but from what I can remember, it was something about shoes and how many pairs I take and how I pack them. Um, I don't, I try not to take a ton of shoes. I will tell you true. I take a couple of pair of flats, one that I wear on the plane and usually out to excursions unless it's a uh, a more intense excursion and then I, I, I take one pair of flats, like everyday flats. One pair usually, although this time I'm gonna take two pairs of patent leather flats. I need one for uh, the one outfit I'm wearing and that is the same color blue as that outfit. And then I've got a black pair. So I will be taking two pairs and I usually take a pair of sneakers, especially in Alaska. I'm not taking sneakers this time. I may take a pair of slip-on Skechers. I do have a pair of slip-on Skechers that I may take uh, for if we're out and about in Hawaii. As I said, we're renting cars. So, you know, we're not going to be doing a lot of trekking around, but, you know, I may want to be more comfortable in those. So, the way I pack them is uh, usually just, I, I don't put them in a packing cube or anything usually. I just pack them in my suitcase where I can fit them. I slide them in, you know, where they fit in the, in the empty spaces in my suitcase. So, but anyway, I guess that's it for today. And that's all the questions I want to really get into today. But I will check and make a list of my questions and have them all ready for Wednesday. We'll do a bow on Wednesday and we will do... Uh, the hutch reveal, the top of the dash reveal, and the and the corner shelf reveal. And, um, you know, and then we'll go from there. All right? All right. I did work when the snow was here. I haven't done my ivy table yet. We may do that on camera uh, a day. I'm not sure. Uh, but Or I may just decorate it and reveal it. To be honest with you guys, I'm super busy getting ready for our trip. And, I, and again, life is just keeping keeping us busy. And... I'm doing the best I can. Always know. Always, always, always know. I'm doing the very best that I can muster here on my YouTube channel. I don't, I don't, I want it to be the very best that I can be every time. So I don't ever want to rush through anything and I don't want to ever uh, give you boring content or content just thrown at you for some content. You know, I try to. I like to make the content helpful and interesting and something that will help to help you in some way in your life one way or the other. So, all right, with that said, let me ask you to subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, if you watch me for a long time, my analytics tell me that about 50% of you who watch me are not subscribed. So if you would find it, if you could find it in your heart to hit that subscribe button, I'd sure appreciate it. I'm trying to get over 33,000. I'm getting close. Uh, I've done some fluctuating here in the last week. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but uh, hit that subscribe button, please, please, please. It's free. It's free for you to do. Uh, hit the like and hit the notification bell, please. <laughs> and with that said, I'm going to go into my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping by here today. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And I do have a little bit of mischief with Maverick to share with you. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> and until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.